Read the disclaimer. Doofus. And please contact us through this email address with questions or fan art. Thank you for your support. <laughs>
Oh, do shut up. A bottle of Firebite's Happy Pills. A standard piece of tokusatsu merchandise. A standard can of- What are you doing? I'm th you're going to get hurt! Get down from there! A pile of scrap metal. And of course, a 2,900 pixel by 5,367 pixel image of the Eiffel Tower. Now with the sides comparisons out of the way, let's get to the transformation. Though, I do feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh well. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is pull out the backpack. This is going to become the thorax in the spider mode. The next thing you're going to want to do is fold back the legs. This will unlock the front section of the torso, which you're going to then flip over so that the head fits inside this cavity. Now, this next step is the hardest part. The breastplate is attached to the rest of the chest by this little tab, and it is a very tight connection. So what you're going to want to do is just gently lift and- Oh. I have a question for God. Why? I think I'm starting to understand why Byte skips the transformation. However, this makes for a rather good segue into the one issue I truly take with this figure. Some of the plastic, not all of it, but some of it, is shit. There are two areas where this low quality plastic is most noticeable. The first being the lower legs, which feel extremely brittle. That being said, they've yet to show any signs of said brittleness, so it is easily ignored. The second is the aforementioned breastplate. This I do find unacceptable. The tab is far too tight, and I know for a fact I'm not the only person to have this issue. Add to that the positioning of the tab, which makes it virtually impossible to fix or not notice. This means every time I transform this figure, I'm going to remember that it's broken! You know what? We're skipping the rest of the transformation. I don't want to talk about it anymore. In Beast Mode, Black Rachnia is, surprise surprise, a Black Widow Spider. And goodness gracious, that is a lot of sculpted detail. Texture detail extends to basically every single nook and cranny of the Beast Mode. And while I don't know if this texture is accurate to an actual spider, it does look the part. But even if this is accurate, this spider mode isn't fooling anyone. Ah, oh, hello Mr. Spider. As it is unrealistic in the best ways possible. Now I think it's worth mentioning that I am an arachnophobe. However, this and other spider-based designs don't tend to make me tremble with primordial fear and hide in a corner. This might be due to the random spikes on the abdomen or the exposed shoulders, which I think mimic the cholesterol of real spiders. And before you ask, yes, I had to look up what Clarissera were and how to pronounce them. I don't even think I'm pronouncing them accurately right now. As for weapon storage, you just simply clip the grappling hook onto the bottom of the spider. And that's kinda it for the beast mode, I mean, there are other things to talk about, like the eyes, or the kibble on the bottom, or even the symbol on the back. But the pros and cons of this mode are pretty much the same as the robot mode, so I feel like I'd just be repeating myself. So instead of that, let's just skip to the articulation. Maya, take care of the articulation while I go get a drink. Each leg of the spider mode is on a ball joint. Can you please untie me now? I'm not judging you if you're into this, but my synthetic skin chafes easily. Okay... Anyways... Here's Kingdom Black Arachnia's Beast Mode next to... A ruler slash level... Your atypical channel mascot... A fruit of some kind? I don't know what that is. The internet given form... A can of A... Put that down, young lady! An unwilling participant... And, of course, a blurred image I found on Firebite's phone. 
So, is Kingdom Black Arachnia worth adding to your collection? Yes, absolutely. She's one of the funnest Transformers I've gotten in recent years. Her articulation is phenomenal, except for her feet. Her plastic quality is overall pretty decent, except for her chest. And when it comes to her transformation, she is overall very fun to transform. I can't find a single point in time where I can just set her down for less than 10 seconds. And because of all of that, I have to give her a 9 out of 10. Hold on just a second! What's all this then? Uh, me recording a video? Okay, yeah, I respect that, but, uh, let's be real, the April Fool special is basically over now. Wait, what? Oh shit, you are in trouble now, boy. Shit. Omae wa mou shindeiru. Mafi? And this is where we were going to have the climactic final battle between Bide and the Hoodie Guy where I was first going to manifest my stand, Teenage Wasteland, and grow to giant size, but Bide blew our budget for that on Earthrise RC. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.